In this video, I am going to show you how easy it is to download, install, and start using the Neo4j desktop on Windows. You go to the Neo4j website. At the top, you click the download button, which brings you to the download page. You want to install the desktop, so you click the big button here for downloading the desktop. At this point, you must provide Neo4j with some identifying information before you can begin the download. So we do that and we click Download Desktop. Now it detects what kind of system you are on and it presents you with a page with the installation and getting started instructions. Once the download completes, you simply click the Setup Executable. The setup wizard asks you some questions about the installation. There are some preliminary questions that you must answer when you first open the desktop the license agreement, where you want the databases to reside, and whether you have an activation key. We are just going to be using the evaluation version right now, so we use our social network ID. We are asked about using the default client protocol and anonymous reporting, where you should select the defaults. Here we are in the Neo4j desktop. The Neo4j desktop is where you manage your projects, your databases, and the settings you use at runtime. In the left margin, you can click on Settings for your desktop. The Graph Applications view displays all graph libraries available to you and also enables you to install them. Notifications tell you if there is a desktop update available. The settings view allows you to change some switches about your particular environment, including proxy settings. The user profile is where you would enter your activation keys. And About simply shows the version of the software. The Projects view enables you to define a project for accessing a particular graph or database. So you have a graph which is your database and optionally you can install plugins that will work in your application environment for this database. The default project name is My Project. We're going to change the name of the project to Test Movies. Next, we create our first graph for our Test Movies project. We create a local graph which will reside in the Neo4j folder we specified when we installed the desktop. You must provide a password that you remember because you might be accessing the database from your application. And the graph is created. From this window, you can either manage or start the database. If we click the Manage button, it gives you information about the database. It's currently not running. From this view, you can examine the logs, access the console for the Neo4j instance, view configuration settings for the project. We click the Start button to start the database. And here we see that the database is now active in the Test Movies project. The Bolt port is a very important port. That's the port that is used for binary communication to access the database from applications and from the Neo4j browser application. The HTTP port is used for accessing the web interface to the Neo4j browser. Now in the project view, we see that we have one project, but we want to add a new project. We call this project Test Customers. Each project accesses its own database, so we create a new local graph.
So now we have two projects, each with their own graph, and we see that the Test Movies database is currently running. In the desktop, you can only have one database active at a time. So we are going to stop the Movies database. Then we can start the Test Customers Projects database. Now we see that we have an active database that can be used from the test customer's applications. If you have a database started, you can access it using the Neo4j browser. So that's all you need to do to get started with Neo4j Desktop on Windows.